Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your June 18th through July 1st reading. Uh, it's a general reading, won't resonate with everyone. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Find me on Instago where you can ask a question or two. Um, choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. I'll save the announcements to the end. Thank you to all who have commented, liked, shared, and subscribed. The first row is love, career and finance, additional supportive messages. All right. Um, this is you right where you are, Aquarius. The two of Earth. You're weighing up two very real options for you. Some of you are. Uh, could be in a love affair. Could have more than one lover. It's pretty much what a love affair is, right? Anyway, uh, weighing up a business decision. It might not be favorable. You, you, something you're weighing up here. You're trying to balance. It's a balancing act. Somebody's getting more attention than the other. One business is getting more attention than the other. Dropping a ball on another. Hmm. But this is love, so this would be, you know, it would be just that. It could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Is Aquarius on their correct path? The Fool card. Um, it looks like you're going to chart a new path, Aquarius. And, and from the Two of Earth to the Fool, you're weighing it up. It's two very real options that have manifested for you. They're here. You're deciding which one to take, which one to partake in. You might even choose just to chart it alone, a new development in a new path, not knowing what's to come. The zero card, starting over, the fool. The fool is looking at the two of earth though. I think you're gonna actually make a choice between two, two options. What is your obstacle here the high priestess your obstacle is wow so it goes from zero to two you jumped from jumped over the magician your obstacle may be that you aren't listening to your your intuition the obstacle may be that spirit is trying to guide you but you just you're trying to do your own thing. You know best than spirit, right? No. The obstacle may be that you have secrets. That you're, keep, you're holding close to some information. Or you feel that someone else is. You know it intuitively that they're holding back. Or vice versa. You know intuitively that something is for you but you're fighting it and that's why you went and got this other option are you trying to stay in this option what's helping you the ten of air an ending being blindsided you didn't know this was coming backed into a corner Disappointed, great, dis greatly disappointed. That's what's helping you because it brings an end. What's all endings are new beginnings. It brings the Ace of Swords, truth and clarity. That's the begin. That's the that's your new beginning. You now know. You can't deny whatever this was or is I might be dealing with another air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius this is also sometimes Aquarius you might be your own obstacle Aquarius not not listening not getting in line what's helping is the ten of air how can progress be made the seven of earth He's looking back. Look back at what you have invested your time and energy into. Look at back 
look back at what you wanted to manifest here. What's helping you is that you have invested time and energy, not in just something or someone else, but yourself too. You've done the work. This is helping you. You've invested in self and in someone else. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Horizon. And at the bottom of the deck for love is the death card. Transformation. Ending and a new beginning. With the ten of air. Or some or some situation needs to transform. It looks like there's a, a complete shift alter of course here. From the fool card to the ten of air to the transformation card. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. You have changed. Your mind has changed about someone or something. Look at how she looks at what's in her hand very like inquisitively. Like, okay, I thought this was this, but it's not. Mm. Your mind has changed about something. In which you're okay charting a new path, going on a new development, going in a different direction. Alright, career and finance. Three of Pentacles is right where you are. Trying to build, getting some recognition in what you're doing. Could even be, yeah, considering partnership. Are you in your correct path to chariot? It says you will have victory. You're moving forward effortlessly, victoriously. You've gotten in control of the stagnation that you brought to a situation. You've gotten in control of the waywardness of the the waywardness. Some of y'all wayward, like you just weren't concerned with what you needed to be concerned with the chariot holds one I think what you're doing is definitely first of all it's it's blessed by the divine we got a seven card here it's that divine change You're moving forward in and on your path. Are you on the correct path? I think you finally feel like you are in career and finance. Because you've walked away from something else. Your obstacle is yourself, the star card. Didn't I say that? Not listening. Not being aligned with the divine that that is or was your obstacle will be to come in the next two weeks mm. some of you could deal with a cancer someone wants partnership with you someone wants something with you badly I feel someone wants something so greatly but they just don't know how to go about having it with you to the point where both of you are off your course you're off your divine path in which is causing stagnation in career and finance and love and romance the universe is telling you to look back into what you invested seven or more years with seven or more months You are your own obstacle. What's helping you? The Six of Pentacles. Some of you might receive a payout of actual money. Because this is career and finance. Uh, it, I think you know this money is coming. It's due to you. 
and or some of you could just be receiving some some charitable contributions that may that very well may be due to you by way of you just reaping what you've sown karmically you know now it's your turn to receive you've given now it's your turn to receive some of you your finances are greatly tied up into not being on the correct path I think with a certain person what how can progress be made the tower let it all crumble let it all fall it's built on shake, shaky faulty ground anyhow whatever the tower is for you whatever this this moment is for you it can even be a mindset I'm hearing ego Want someone of you want to use some of you deal with knowing that you're a little bit more spiritually inclined than another person that you're dealing with, they're more earthy, more concerned about practical practicality. Mm. You guys aren't seeing eye to eye. It's not equal. It's messing with you moving forward financially. It's messing with you having real and true partnership. To where doors actually really, really open for you. The towers here saying universe is gonna come in and shake something up for you. Break it down. The bottom of the deck, the Empress. Two, three cards. You could be in a third party situation. With the two of Earth here and the love. It's a love affair. It might be more than one party involved. You can create what you want in your career and finance. You are abundant. You have all that you need. The Emperor sits on the throne, one of her own, one that she's made from nothing, one that normally sits in the wilderness. She's in the air in this day. She uses all that she has. Some of you could be could fall pregnant to. Mm -hmm. That might be the tower moment. Let's see what the additional cards have to say. And they're all upside down. Okay. So we have leaving. Join in. Keep the faith. Some of you need to join some some groups, some self help help groups, some groups that are people who share your same interests, whether that's hobby or networking or whatever. Keep the faith that whatever is you want to happen, whatever you want to manifest in your life is and will in divine time and keep the faith. Faith talks about doing all that you can do and allowing for your creator, your God, to do the impossible in a situation. Keep the faith. Leaving. Now, this could be leaving a job, leaving a person, leaving a home. I mean, leaving is, is vague here, but you know what this means to you. Someone else around you could be leaving, too. The bottom of the deck, we have finances. Yeah. Then I, I've been saying that like your finances are all commingled with you not being on the right path. Doors cannot open. It you door is locked. You cannot proceed until you listen to spirit. You are your own obstacle. High priestess, the star. 
you cannot go forward until you go backward. Seven of Earth. Finances are highlighted and it might be tough financially right now or, or tricky. Okay. I mean, the spirit is still with you in the midst of this, but it's like so much can happen and you can have so much if you would just surrender to a particular aspect in your life. It, I think your financial abundance is coupled with the fact that there is someone who wants to partner with you romantically monetarily in every facet but the both of you cannot get a line cannot just let it happen request a personal reading if you think that this message was for you or is for you if you cannot do that you're not able to um, do what is greatly appreciated here and do what is free like the post right now click like um, subscribe to the channel write a comment below I will choose two commenters and just randomly and give them a free five minute reading um, that could be you go ahead and comment below even if you were even if it's just to say hi um, Aquarius remember that I'm praying for you pray for me as well I'm on Instagram insta go go fund me my website is below tarotofl.com go book a reading there remember the calendar does not matter on the website you will receive your reading four business days after you book business days do not include Saturday or Sunday okay so take care guys thank you for, once again for coming back Aquarius it's not bad it's just more so you your own worst enemy get in line let an old regime die let it die and see what happens All right let the ego die alright take care guys bye